Okay, on our plate, on the food side, right now you have your name, date, teacher's name, vocab or table color, and the vocabulary. The vocabulary for today is complementary colors. Now, complementary colors are colors that are directly across from one another on the color wheel. You guys should have this written on your paper and be ready to go. Now, on the back side, we're going to start first by drawing in the middle of the plate just a dot. Now, from that dot, oh, also we need to draw our circle. Draw a circle around the little edge where it starts to stick up there. Oops, made a mistake. That's okay. Just going to ignore that. Now, from that dot, you're going to line your ruler up and off the plate. That ruler tip needs to be touching the dot, and the end of the ruler needs to be pointed towards your belly. Point it straight towards your belly. So straight down. Then we're going to draw it, make it look like a letter Y. So I'm just going to make my little marks to make sure I've got it right. So that way it looks just about even. Then you can line your ruler up. Draw a straight line all the way down and off the plate. Now the other side. So now I've got just about three sections. They're pretty much even. They might not be 100% perfect, but they're pretty close. So that first line we drew, I'm going to continue it on the other side. Split that one in half. Now I want to split this section in half. And let's split the next one in half. So you should have ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six little areas. When you have your six areas, please put your ruler aside and put your pencil in, your, in the air so I know you're ready to move on to labeling our areas. Okay, so now we're ready to label the first one on top, the top triangle. I'm just going to draw light and little, so don't draw with real dark because when you paint this, you don't want your letters to show through. So this one is going to be R for red. Now this is important, labeling this correctly, because if you don't label it correctly, when you go to paint this, it's going to be all out of order. So it goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Now, these, this section above the red, that's where we're going to put red's complementary color. <coughs> Can somebody tell me what the complementary color of red is? What is it? Green. Very good. Now, what's the complementary color of orange? What is it? Blue. Very good. What's the complementary color of yellow? Violet, very good. Violet is the complementary color of yellow. What is the complementary color of green? 
Red, very good. What's the complementary color of blue? Orange. Orange. What's the complementary color of violet? Yellow. Yellow, very good. So, you guys, I want you to look at this and make sure you have the right colors in the right places. So if you wrote a yellow, it better be right next to the violet. You should not have yellow and green anywhere near each other unless it's in the main section. Yellow and green are right next to each other. They're not in the same piece of the pie. Okay, so at this point, um, if you got out the rulers and the pencils, um, if, if, if the, everyone's done with them at your table, I want you to collect them, put them away, and then you're going to get two water cups and fill them halfway, and you need to get paint brushes for everybody. So right now, if, if somebody's not done, leave the pencil with them so they can finish. But I want you to go put everything else away and go get the water cups and paint brushes. You've got about 10 seconds to get this done.